Yeah, that's crazy, man. I went down to the river, I built on my knees, I bathed in the muddy water, set my soul free, and my blue, all my blue, were washed away, and my blue, nice fish. Like all third my count. blue, were washed away. What's up YouTube? It's JL folks from Road Angler TV. I'm out here somewhere on Old Hickory. Just paddling up river. Meeting up a buddy of mine, Mr. Russ Snyders. We're going fishing for the first time today. And uh, we're gonna hope we're hoping to get on some fish, so y'all stay tuned if you don't know who Russ Snyders is. He's an awesome tournament angler. And super stoked to be fishing with them. So stay tuned, y'all. All right, YouTube, I'm out here with Russ Snyders. He's in the Hobie Pro Angler 12. Yeah, we're out here on the Tennessee River. Cumberland River. <laughs> the Cumberland River. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're gonna try to get on some fish, y'all. They reel up shallow. Yeah, they're out, they're out, they're out deep too. They'll bend. If there'll be a rock or a boulder or something off the shore, and they'll spawn deeper than where you can see them. Awesome. Sometimes they're really hard. They're not really deep. Like you'll throw, you know, so many other baits there, and they won't go in except for like a, you know, some type of lizard or a rock. Yeah. I was throwing the uh, spinner bait a little bit, but I wouldn't get anything on it. Yeah. It's got to be a little more windy, doesn't it? Yeah, like it was kind of cold. Now, if it, now this is nice. That little cold snap, huh? They'd probably be hitting top water, wouldn't they? If it wasn't a cold morning. I'll give them a frog. They're bedding. I'd be throwing like a frog if it was warmer. They might hit a frog by this afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're more likely to hit top water on old old hickory than priest, right? Uh depending on where you're at, you go up the river. You go up river on Percy Priest far enough, it kinda reminds me of old hickory. Yeah. If you cast up there on that light spot. And just oh, you mess with it. If you cast up there on the light spot and just shake it up there on that light spot on the rock, he'll come up and uh, he'll come up and start looking at it. Try some of this deeper stuff out here. Get something. It's tough when they're when they're spawning and the weather's cold. That's uh, tough then. And they're tougher. When they're sp spawning and it's warm out, and there's bluegill up everywhere, shallow, and yeah. everything else is like alive. There's just more to like defend on their nest, you know. So I got you, yeah. Huh. Russ has got a bass. I saw that rod tip go warm. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, Russ just had a pretty good one on the jig. It's crazy how they're all up under this stuff, man. Dude, let's freaking go, dude. Dang, dude, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> Moving it along pretty good. I haven't had any bites. I think I got a fish on. 
Yep. All right. Finally, a fish on the jig. Let's go. On the jig. Kind of looks like a smallmouth a little bit. It's got red eyes. Might be. Doesn't have like any spots on them though. Got like a red eye. Yeah, it's spotted. That's spotted. How do you tell? Large mouth, but it's it's not. You yeah. can tell by. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Yeah. If you put your the red eye, like when their eyes are really red like that, it's pretty rare that a large mouth has an eye that red. That's but cool. If you feel on their tongue, there'll, there'll be a little tooth patch on their tongue. Oh really? Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, on the jig, can't beat it. All right, guys. Well, Russ gave me this pretty awesome swim bait, and uh, we're real close to the Gallatin steam plant, so. There's a chance we could get on a striper or a good bass in here. Russ has hooked on a pretty good bit of bass today, but uh, it's been really tough for me. I have not really fished this lake many times, but who knows, it could change here in a few. So we're gonna throw around this swim bait and maybe we might even get a striper. So stay tuned, yo. What? <laughs> huh? Attention. Fire alert. Fire alert. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, man. Attention. Fire alert. Fire alert. What the hell does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it was a test. That was pretty crazy. <laughs> that was crazy, dude. <laughs> I've never seen that before. I was, uh, I'm guessing it was anything serious. It would continually go off. Yeah, it was probably a test or something. A fire alert. It's <laughs> You're like Chernobyl. <laughs> that was pretty, that was a little scary. <laughs> All right, YouTube. Well, I had an awesome day fishing with Russ Snyders. We didn't get on a whole lot of fish. Uh, it was kind of cold and the fish were on beds and they just weren't eating a whole lot. And we were out there for a good four or five hours and only had a few bites, but Russ ended up winning that tournament he was uh, pre-fishing for on Old Hickory. It was the KBF TN season opener, so glad uh, he was able to find some spots to catch some fish and win the tournament. But really awesome fishing with Russ. He's an awesome angler and I learned a lot from him when I was fishing. And uh, wasn't that crazy about that fire alert at the uh, Gallatin steam plant? That kind of freaked us out a little bit. We didn't know if uh, that was just going to be some big explosion <laughs> or something, but I think it was a test. They kind of freaked us out, and we kind of got out of there after that. But still an awesome day on the water. I'm going to be doing a lot of fishing in the upcoming weeks and months. It's going to be good. So y'all stay tuned to the channel. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.